Yo, what's up guys, and welcome to the next tutorial video here on Duct Tape Creations. For today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a uh, duct tape bifold wallet. Uh, now, I did one of these wallets, I did a tutorial on this wallet a while back, but uh, I decided to update the tutorial since I um, started start making my wallet a different way. So, um, I'm doing this video as an update for that one. Uh, if you'd like to check out that one, I'll put a link in the description of this video. So, if you want to check that out. So, uh, I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial. Let's get started. Alright, so to make uh, this type of uh, bifold wallet is pretty simple. It's a lot easier than the way I did in, the, in my past tutorial. Uh, this is actually pretty similar to my trifold tutorial, but it takes about, I think, three less strips. I think I used ten for that tutorial, and this only takes uh, seven. And each strip is uh, eight inches long. So you're just going to take these strips here, starting with the first two, obviously. <laughs> So you're just going to take them and stick them together, as usual. But, uh, I need to just flatten that out so, it's easier, so I don't mess up. So you're just going to take it here and stick it down. And make sure to leave this bar of sticky side up here. So you can fold it over to make a nice rounded edge on your wallet. So just like that. I think it looks pretty nice with the flame duct tape here and then just the plain black pretty cool. So then you're just going to take the rest of your strips and keep um, uh, flipping this back and forth and keep sticking the strips down. Just keep covering up the sticky side. And when you're done, uh, you should have a sheet of tape that is uh, uh, six and a quarter inches long. So then, that's the, so then we can just fold that in half into the same, it turns out to be the same length, uh, the same uh, uh, width or height as it does in my past tutorial so this is that's basically you get the same product but it's a lot easier so uh, just continue uh, uh, sticking your strips together until you reach that six and a quarter inch strip and then we'll move on to putting the card holders and uh, the ID holder into the wallet so so then after you finish this let's move on to that alright so now now that you have your uh, sheet done that is uh, that is uh, six and a quarter inches long. <laughs> Almost right at the measurements there. But uh, now that you have this sheet of tape, all you're going to do is just uh, cut out these, this little strip here that's only three inches long, and just cut it in half so you can seal up the sides. All you got to do for this is just fold this in half. It's pretty self explanatory, but I'll just do it here. So you're just going to put half of it here on the one side and flip it over and then peel the other side over just like that and then do the same with the other side just make sure that that's folded and stays down make sure you have everything even so you don't get a weird uh, uneven top of the wallet so then just like before just stick half of it there and, so then, and then flip it over just make sure everything's even there Okay. And then I'll just peel it over just like that. And there you go. You have your wallet. So now your idea is just to fold that in half. Just like that. And there you pretty much have your bifold wallet. Now all you gotta do is just add your card holders and ID holder. And you have your wallet done. So you're just gonna want to put like a heavy book or uh, some extra rolls of tape on, on there. So you can get the crease used to staying there. So meanwhile, so as setting, uh, in meanwhile, we're just going to do this with the card holders and the ID holder. So uh, for the card holder, it's really simple. I'm just going to take a strip of tape that's four inches long and a strip of tape that is uh, three and a half inches long. So then you're just going to take the strip of tape that's four inches long and stick it down onto the three and a half inch strip, just like that leaving this little bit of this little bar of sticky side up here so you can peel that over and get a rounded edge uh, now this design of a uh, card holder uh, I did not, I did not uh, originally use this in my videos or in my wallets uh, someone commented on one of my past videos for the 
I believe it was the Dallas Cowboys uh, wallet time lapse. So uh, one uh, one one of my uh, one of the viewers uh, commented on the video saying uh, check out one of his videos. Uh, uh, how to, in, it, in the video he showed how to make it, he showed how he made this type of uh, card holder. So I just so I started using these and it works awesome. Uh, if you want to check out his channel, uh, his name is Casey Duct Tape Stuff. Uh, I'll put a link to his channel and the video I that uh, he showed how to make his wallets in this card holder. I'll put a link for both those things down in the description, so you can check those out if you'd like. So then we just have so now that you have this done, all you're gonna do is just uh, stick it in here on your wallet. Now, if you're doing only one card holder, uh, you start. You're just gonna start at the bottom here, just like that. Just line it up. Just place it. Fits perfectly into that one spot. Uh, now, where to put all my? Oh, here we go. Okay. So now you're just gonna. So you just. There you go. It fits. Uh, it's pretty simple to make. You know, it takes very little tape, which is awesome. So uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, now, if you want to put more than just one, you're going to start here at the top. I know it's kind of hard to uh, actually see the card holder here with it blending with all the flames. Uh, but if you want to put more than one, you start up here at the top and then move, work your way down to the bottom. So then that's in. So now we're going to move on to making the uh, the ID holder, which is pretty much the same concept. It's pretty much the same thing. Again, we're just going to need to cut out... Uh, Two sh one strip of tape that is uh, three and a half inches, and another that is four inches. So then, to make sure it can fit the entire card in it, you're just going to cut out uh, two more strips of tape that are four inches long. Well, no, one more strip of tape that is three, that is four inches long, and another that is uh, three and a half, and just cut those strips in half. So you have to turn out with a strip of tape like these. So all you're going to want to do is, like before, just take the first two strips here. And just uh, uh, crease this, uh, crease uh, the, the side of that. So you want to do is just uh, uh, the backwards, and need to, need to stick this on there. Okay. So now you're going to do is just do the same thing for the card holder. Just stick it down like that. Fold it over like you did before. So you have that rounded edge up there. So now flip it over, and this is where it changes a little bit. Uh, take your three and a half inch strip and line it up with this one here, just like that. So you have this little bit of expansion. I actually I actually got the I actually messed up on there a little bit, but that's okay. Got the sticky side is not the same, but just make don't do what I did. Just make sure that the uh, the sticky side on both sides is equal, so it will stay down into your wall better. So now just take your four and a half inch strip here and just stick it down like that. <clears throat> so you have your uh, so you have your sticky side all the way around. Now so now I'm just gonna trim this off so it looks a little bit better. But uh, if you didn't make the same mistake I did and have all the sticky side on, on all the on the bottom and sides even, then you wouldn't have, then you want to do this. But I'm just gonna do it here for looks. I got everything stuck on my hands here. <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty much it for the ID holder. Now all you're going to do is just take your X-Acto knife and just cut out a simple uh, whole uh, square or whatever shape you want to make. You can basically do a circle, anything you want. It's pretty cool. So I'm just going to do this here real quick. And then we'll put it into the wallet. And that'll be it for this tutorial then. Okay, so there we go. So there's your ID holder. So now I'm just going to take our wallet over here. And you're just going to place it in. Just like that. So there you go. So I'll grab one of my test cards over here. And there you go. There's your ID holder. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, it's pretty simple. And uh, if you want to check out that uh, trifold uh, wall tutorial I did, 
I'll have a link in the description for that video as well, so if you want to check that out. And uh, so that's pretty much going to wrap this up. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching. As I, and as I always say, just enjoy the wonder that is duct tape.